We're at the Bidler Forest Audubon Sanctuary, and uh, we're out today uh, working on Project Protho, a citizen science project uh, that's focused on prothonotary warblers. The sanctuary here uh, at Bidler Forest is very important for prothonotaries. It's, it's an old growth cypress tupelo swamp. It's, it has uh, a large number of, of cavities, um, cypress knees, um, small uh, uh, dead trees that are important for the warblers during nesting. They're one of the few warblers in the United States that uses uh, cavities uh, for nests. Project Protho is a study of the planetary warblers that are out here at Bidler Forest. The last time they've been studied in a natural setting, which is provided by the old growth here where they, they nest in cavities, is the 1940s. So they've been studied in nest boxes and other areas, man-made lakes, but this is the first place, first, last time, or the first time since then that they've been studied in these old growth settings. The color bands help identify each bird as an individual. And you can use just binoculars to identify the birds uh, when they have the color bands on. Uh, if somebody observes one of these birds here, it's easy to come back and report the information back to us at the center using our data sheets. Here at Bidler Forest, um, we have a, a, what we think is a really uh, good population of prothonotary warblers here. And so we want to learn what it is about Bidler Forest that makes it such a special place for prothonotary warblers. It's really important for us to get the, the visitors and the students involved in this type of work. It helps them build a connection to the prothonotary warblers. They come out here and, and look for these banded birds. Uh, it makes them just as curious as we are uh, about the birds out here. Uh, they come back to the center with, with more questions than they came out here with about the birds. And, and the more information they take back home with them, the better for the prothonotary warbler, the better for the, the wetlands that they're breeding in, uh, and better for the migration uh, for the stopover habitat that they need. One of the best things is that you get to help the little birds by because we made the birdhouses this year. My mom always wanted to teach me about nature and get used to wildlife, so I came here. The Together Green Grant was very important for us uh, in getting the foundation of Project Protho. This is the first year that we've done Project Protho, and the money from Together Green Grant helped us to buy the mist nets, helped us to buy a lot of the banding supplies, as well as it helped us get 100 students out here from Orangeburg County. Uh, Orangeburg County is a very rural county, uh, and the students there haven't always had the funding to be able to come to Bidler and participate in, in our program here, in our education program. So getting those students out here uh, was very important. How does it make you feel knowing that you're helping this species of bird almost on a global basis because they migrate all over? It makes me feel really happy because I really like the birds and I like, and I've, I think I even have some pictures of them on my camera. Yeah from when my grandpa took me on a camera trip here.